M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're looking at the FT70D RT systems. Now you can use the free software, which is the ADMS10, and I've got a separate video on that, which I'll link in. But at the moment, we're looking at RT systems, and there's some very good uh, information on their site, uh, all about how to use this and uh, the different benefits you get. But it's just a lot simpler, and you don't need to to keep a uh, DC cable plugged into it. So what's the process for get getting the radio into clone mode? So just turn it off, hold down the F button whilst the cable is connected and the con cable connects in where the speaker microphone connects, which is at the top, it's a round pin. So hold down the F, turn it on and you'll get it and you can confirm that the radio says clone on the screen. Once it's done that, then just go to the software and follow this video that I've got from RT Systems. I'll just push play. So you would, at the top, you'd select uh, communication, get data from radio, click yes, then you've got the radio on clone, then you click OK, uh, and then press the band button. So it's the, the right hand button here, the band button, and then the software will come through and then you'll be able to uh, start making changes to the radio. So once you're on the radio, then you can do all the obvious things. There's a lot more to this. I'm just going to show you a brief overview because I'm using the FT5 line here because I haven't got the, the cable for the FT70 myself. So it's just, for example, put in the frequency of your hotspot, for example. So we'll go 43 minus 438575.575. And then you can choose whether it has a shift. The mine is a simplex, so you just slide up until it says naught. And then you're going to choose DN for digital. And the, that's it. You've got your hotspot in there. It's that simple. And then if you want a repeater, we'll go 145.5. 600. Um, it's, got the, it's put the minus shift already. FM, we need to get our tone in. Like so. ADMS means it will automatically switch. You don't have to have that mode on. But it will switch to digital if you get a digital signal. I actually prefer it off. And then signal, uh, sorry, the tone frequency for our repeater is 94.8. Um, the other thing we I didn't put was the name, so we can name both of these. So there we could put hotspot for the digital hotspot. Like so, and underneath we can put in G it's GB3WR repeater. So you're going to get the name, the tone, many of these functions you're not going to use. If you're using banks, you could select a bank. The other thing you could do, which is quite handy, you could go file, uh, external data, go to repeater book. And I've got Bristol here, but put in your town. Let's just select two meters and 70 centimeters uh, repeaters. We'll go 20, 20 miles or kilometers. Click OK and then look, it's going to give you this nice list of the repeaters that are near you within that radius. Click Create File and it will say for FT70D. And then you can uh, select them all like so, like hold your mouse on the left. Do it in the, where the numbers are on the left and you can copy. Now you can use control C for copying and control V for paste, but anyway, we're gonna copy. If you go back to your channel, and the good thing is that every time you read the radio, RT Systems opens a new window, so you don't lose that original, you know, original information from your radio, but you should always make a backup. Anyway, back to the channel, and if we click six, and then right click and paste, all those repeaters are now in our radio, so we've got our hotspot, uh, for example, it could be my all-star node, which is in this house. Uh, and then we've got our local repeats, and then you can add more. There's so much more to this software, so you could go to radio menu settings and change all of them. And you've also got a preferences tab, which uh, allows other options for you to change. So uh, thanks for watching my video. I thought I'd show you. Now, when you send it to the radio, you would just click communication, and you would click send data and then just follow the instructions exactly as, as before and then you'll, you'll easily program your radio and you, can just, you don't have to plug a DC cable in you can just um, use it from the battery, it's a completely portable system uh, but like I said I will link in the, the video that I made with the ADMS uh, 10 software, it does work it, to me it's a bit clunky, if you get things wrong it just suddenly wipes and factory resets your radio uh, maybe it's the user error, but that's what I find happened with me quite a few times. So I think the ADMS uh, software is a no-brainer. 
uh, sorry, the ADMS 70 from RT Systems is a no-brainer. Yeah, the K, you know, is that one-off cost. If you're going to keep the radio forever, then it's worth it. So, uh, but the cable is a USB 57B. So, 73, thanks for watching my channel. Please remember to subscribe and like. Bye for now. All the best.